summer long, we're taking you on zip trips to local towns. Let's get back to Christine Scarpelli today. She is in Tryon. She's telling us all the great things to do out there. Hi, Christine. Man, does he sound great this morning, giving us a little soundtrack to wake up to. Summer Tracks is coming up tonight, the music series here in Tryon, but now we're talking all films, and I'm thrilled. Tryon International Film Festival, the art scene up here is like none other. Unbelievable, guys. I'm so glad to have Bo and Kirk with me this morning, head honchos of all things film. <laughs> Can I call you that? Is that a decent Absolutely. title? Absolutely. I'm going to let you guys go. I need our viewers to know everything that they need to know to participate, maybe, in the International Film Festival, but at least appreciate it. Well, thank you. For, for, for having us yeah. and good morning from Tryon. Hey. Uh, we're, we're in our eighth year and, yep. and we're excited to host an international film festival in this cool community. It's so cool. International film festival means yes. you have some pretty big names. We have, we've, we've had Matthew Modine come in the past, Courtney Gaines. Uh, we, we've had, I mean, just it's been incredible. We've had international filmmakers that have come to the United States for the first time and they've come to Tryon, North Carolina to exhibit their films, <sighs> premiere, uh, this is just a, a unique environment because our town really mobilizes the whole community. What, you know, what's it look like when this comes to town? It's on fire. It's electric. I mean, you can imagine seven different screening ven venues going on at seven. once, including Rogers Park. The main theater down the, down the street yeah. is the central point, and then the Fine Arts Center. And it looks a little bit like this, right? It, it looks <laughs> just like you're that. Telling this me? Is the place to be. This is <laughs> utopia. for visual. Very good. I love it. Um, a couple of awards, right? We got a lot yep. going. Okay. So uh, we, we, these are our awards for the end. These are actually classic cameras that we turn into awards, and uh, we have local artists that make them. That's so uh, smart. Yeah, we have local artists that do all our uh, poster prints. Yep. And wow. So we really like to show off the, the art and culture of our community. Wow. And, and which goes hand in hand with film and and uh, the one thing we're really really excited about is amping up our education approach to the film industry How do you continuing do this? education because that's important we want people to, to to learn and have jobs and careers through film and yeah. and if they can come to try on for the film festival and then leave with a sense of screenwriting um, interest or, or editing or stop motion picture animation then then we think we've uh, we're, we want to create an institute type of environment here Absolutely. and this year we've got a bunch of elementary school kids coming in, and they're going to watch their film at the under the. Well, they don't know this yet. Oh my gosh! Breaking news <laughs> breaking about the news. China. Maybe you shouldn't tell them. Is this allowed? Is this allowed? No, it's going to be so cool. To so learn. they'll be able to see their film on the silver screen. I love it. To learn more, guys, real quick, where can we go for more information? Tryinternationalfilmfestival.com. There we go. We'll put that at wspa.com. Malachi, how's that sound? You want to come watch some films with me? I think October this could be fun. It's coming up. <laughs> Christine, only if you're buying the popcorn. That's I the only it. stipulation. No, great weather out here. We're enjoying.